Welcome to Drinks Made Easy. It's the holidays, which is the time of year when it's pretty darn likely that somebody is going to bring over a flavored bottle of alcohol as a house gift. And whether you're the kind of person who feels this way about flavored alcohol, no way. or this way, <laughs> no matter where you are on the spectrum though, Jack Honey is a great example of something that everybody should be able to like. And here is a simple and easy dessert cocktail that all of your guests will love. To make your Jack Daniels Honey Graham milkshake, you're gonna start with four cups of ice cream. Now we're using some of our no-churn ice cream, but if you don't have the time to make a no-churn ice cream, ice cream of your choice will work just fine. You can find that link in the description below and a link at the end of the video. Next, you're gonna add three ounces of Honey Jack. And last but not least, we're gonna use three full graham crackers. Now we do recommend breaking them up a little bit before you put them in, and that's gonna help with the blending. You might have noticed that we're not adding any milk to this milkshake, and that's because the booze is gonna do the job of the milk in terms of melting everything down. And if you do add milk to this, it's gonna be really, really watery. So we don't recommend it, but hey, it's your milkshake. Put a cap on it, and blend. And pour your milkshake into the glass of your choice. And you can also even batch these a little bit ahead of time if you're having a dinner party and just put it into the freezer, give it a quick stir when you're about to serve. And that way you don't have to worry so much about preparing dessert for your guests. Garnish that with a graham cracker. And if you so choose, use a straw. Happy holidays from Drinks Made Easy. If you like this video, please subscribe and tell your friends. And please remember to always drink responsibly because everybody likes to make friends, but no one likes to make them in a prison shower. We're gonna need to do another one of that. That was perfect. No, it wasn't.